Greetings, world. I welcome you to Life Rocks. Today I speak on ideals corruption. You think about it. Let's talk about it. I enjoy the global spectacle called the Olympics. It's bigger than football and cricket put together because people at every level all across the world watch this once in a four year event, uh, waiting to see who gets the most medals and, and how the superhuman athletes perform. Even as a young boy, I used to look at the back of the newspaper for metal medals and see uh, whether uh, countries would perform better than they did the previous time. The Olympics, they carry ideals. For example, the five O-rings. They're reflecting every color uh, that can be incorporated in every flag of the world. And there are new countries coming along, and they can find their flags in the hues and the shades of the Olympics. But the o, -O, 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 -O also has a, another ring. Because the goodness of the Olympics and all its ideals have also been broken. And at a national level, entire nations are being scandalized. Uh, the Olympic Committee members are being castigated. At a personal level, athletes are involved in doping and cheating and lying and sexual violence. This is a, a very unfortunate situation where ideals are broken. Today I speak on ideals corruption, not the corruption of ideals per se in the sense of how you can pull off the perfect corruption. The fact that we have principles and we cannot practice those principles. The principles of the Olympics, for example, talk about a more peaceful society and a fairness across the world. And yet people are trying to somehow get around them and go for the greed in the gold and the silver and the bronze. And nobody is trustable anymore. Now we can live without ideals. We can dismiss them. You can diminish them. You can disregard them. <laughs> but then nobody will show up at the Olympics. Some even say you've got to live without ideals, except that becomes the ideal to live without ideals. At that point, society will stop working. It'll be completely broken. So how do you go from perfect principle to imperfect practice and see them becoming more consistent so we have better practice to meet the best principle? Uh, some people say, just forget the principles. Others say, just continue to do your best with slogans and techniques and motivation as the Olympics do not know things like respect and accountability and fairness and transparency. Is that why we have watchdog groups all over the world and world anti-doping agencies because Olympians do not know the principles and the ideals? Ha, huh, it is actually a problem with the human situation. The athlete's heart, the artist's heart, your heart, and my heart. We can never get rid of this uh, problem of ideals, because we cannot live without them, but we always face a problem of imperfections in practice. Can there be a deep consistency between these? Can there be a deep consistency between practice and perfection? Can we grow towards a perfection when we don't have the power to do so? I have some news for you. It is possible for a new internal start, an inside-out opportunity, for your heart to be changed and therefore you can live the ideals that you have actually proposed for yourself. The Olympics tell us that, that wherever you are, there have to be some common ideals. 
These ideals are actually inside your heart. Your conscience bears witness, accusing you that you're breaking those ideals. The heart instinct and gut instinct for what is true and good and beautiful are broken. God says, you relate to me through my son, the Lord Jesus. And you will be a new creation. That there will be a new internal start. The old things have passed away and a new order has arrived. And you can become less and less corrupt. And more, the personal ideals are kept. The social ideals are met. You think about it. Let's talk about it. Thank you.